So Bungie have just dropped some exotic tuning and ability changes coming in Season 22. So I'm going to give you the TLDR and go over the changes as quickly as possible so you don't have to watch a 15 minute video. So let's get started with exotic armor. Hunter's Knucklehead Radar will gain the functionality of Foe Tracer on top of its original perks. Foe Tracer will be similar to Monochromatic Maestro, the artifact perk from a few seasons back, so when you deal damage with an ability, you gain more damage with weapons, and when you defeat an enemy with an ability, they'll spawn a collectible object for your subclass, i.e. fire sprites. Lucky Raspberry will give grenades overload capabilities, and you will gain additional grenade energy when picking up Ionic Tracers and damaging an enemy with Jolt Lightning. Titan Changes, Icefall Mantle will gain bonus stasis weapon damage, Doom Fangs will gain bonus void weapon damage, Path of the Burning Steps will give max solar weapon damage bonus when you get a grenade kill, Eternal Warrior Arc weapon bonus when Fist of Havoc runs out has been increased to 30 seconds, Feedback Fence melee hits will give armor charge and taking damage will consume armor charge and release arc energy to jolt targets. The more armor charge, the more damage. Hello Fire Heart will be getting a new perk that lets you build into sunspots and we'll see more of that in the future. Warlock Changes Astrocyte Verse, when you are near enemies, blinking will make them volatile. And Nova Warp Blink will cost no super energy. That's a kinda cool one. Geomags will give additional super energy when you pick up an Ionic Trace. Wings of Sacred Dawn will auto reload solar weapons when you get a kill aiming down sights in the air. Winter's Guile will now automatically shatter targets on a delay that were frozen by your Warlock melee. And those are all the exotic changes, so now let's take a look at the ability changes. Towering Barricade base cooldown has been increased to 70 seconds, and all Barricade's health has been reduced from 600 to 500. But they did get a damage resistance buff in PvE, so you shouldn't notice much difference there. The Thunder Crash base cooldown is now 556 seconds, in line with all other roaming supers. The Knockout damage bonus against players is down from 50 to 30. Suspend is finally getting a nerf after being the strongest debuff in the game since Lightfall dropped. So the suspend duration will be lowered from 8 seconds to 5 seconds in PvE. Thread of Continuity now extends that to 7 seconds, down from 12 seconds. And if you suspend a champion, it's only going to last 3 seconds, so it's not going to be as strong as it once was. They did increase the snap damage dealt when suspending a boss by 67%. Thread of Mind was nerfed, lowering class energy gains across the board. And same with Thread of Generation, nerfing grenade energy gains across the board. Threadlings did get a 30% buff, good for Warlocks. Tangles can now be created every 12 seconds. Seven now reduces the target's outgoing damage by 40%. I'm surprised, to be sure, but it worked well. Hunter's Strand Clone got a bit of a buff, increased duration, increased health in PvE. It now takes longer to detect PvE enemies when it is first used. PvE enemies will now more reliably target the clone instead of the hunter, and allied players will no longer aim assist magnetize towards the clone. The Warlock's Wanderer aspect is getting some slight changes, destroying a tangle now creates a delayed suspending explosion. They've increased the suspend radius and increased the thrown detonation damage to bring it in line with standard tangles. A quick fix to the grapple melee to make it more reliable, and a few changes to other aspects which I'll put on the screen, which are just a few small ones. And that's the TLDR of all the changes that we know are coming in Season 22. If you like these short TLDR wrap-ups, let me know by dropping a like or subscribing. It does help a ton. If you'd like to connect with me, my Discord, Twitter, and Twitch are all in the description below. And until next time, happy grinding, Guardians.